Alrighty. Whew, I'm gonna have a drink while I wait for the audience to build. This is gonna be cool. Really cool. Ah, so many questions in the title. I even mixed it up. So if you're on the recording, definitely just listen to me ramble for a minute or two while people jump on. I'm gonna say hi, because I really do appreciate everyone sussing out what I'm all about and what I'm doing. The new, the old, the young, the old, whatever. But yeah, like I say, if you're watching the recording, be sure to comment. Leave any questions or anything at all. It's what it's all about. As you jump on too, loving the likes coming through. How are you, Belinda? Awesome that you're on. Everyone who jumps on, please send me a hey. I'll give you a shout out at the start of this. Kyle, how are you, brother? Ant legend, man. Far out, can't keep up with your work lately, brother. It's awesome. I might spend a day catching up. Mark, how are you, legend? Great chat the other day. Great chat. Uh, we got some superstars jumping on here. Joey Garucci's name just popped up. Brody, how are you, brother? Young superstar. Everyone who's jumping on, throwing the likes, loving the likes. Joey Garucci, man, I love your work, man. Love your work. Keep it up, brother. If anyone who's jumping on this live feed wants to see someone who is just going full steam ahead with life, Joey Garucci is your man. Amy, how are you? Great chat earlier. Everyone who's jumping on, thank you, thank you. I'm going to roll into this right now. I put it out, and I put a lot out, as you know, on social media and Facebook, and it's all, it's all my life. But I've got to be honest, I've been keeping a bit of it quiet because I'll get to why, and it'll probably come from a couple of different angles. Uh, Gav, how are you, legend? All the messages are going to have to wait, but I'm going to come from a few angles. I'm going to start talking about what's been going on over the last few weeks, and then I'm going to lead into the last few months um, because you'll understand why I, I felt the urge to talk about this today. Um, I felt the urge for a while, but now I've been called to. Now I've been called to just talk about this. It's something that's been like, it has, it's been eating me up. And it's, it's been reflecting in the way I've been like traveling energetically. Um, the more work I do around myself and energy and an understanding I have of my own personal growth and what I'm all about, the more I understand what affects me and what doesn't. And this is something that's really, really affected me lately, just on an energetic level, not up here, in here, down here. Really, really deep shit. Now, it is it is fuck me, seriously. I have had days where I have gone to sleep in the middle of the day. I never do that. Never ever do that. I've just felt so bloody drained. I'm like, what the hell? And I've been questioning, like I say, I put a post out earlier today saying I've really I've been up and down. It's been like a roller coaster. Usually I can bust through that shit. But especially the last few weeks, especially the last few weeks, there's no busting through this. There's been no, no pushing on or anything like that like I normally do. So many people around me all the time, they say, oh, you've got to slow down, you've got to have a rest. But I've always been able to push through. I've always been, been able to check something, have one good night's sleep, back on the ball. Tinker with my nutrition or what I eat and stuff, back on the ball. Do something different, back on the ball. But this has been different. This has been so different, it has been crazy. And I really am privileged to have some amazing people around me. I've been privileged for a long time now to have some amazing people around me all the way along this, especially last year, but right into this year. I threw a gratitude out to some of them people um, this morning because I just felt the need I had to. Um, because, how are you, Vicky? Awesome that you're on. Because showing the gratitude to them people, like I did all of last year with so many people around me, I feel that's really important. It's something that I never could do originally. But more so now, more so now, when I've been really tested emotionally, when I've been really looking for something else internally, where I haven't, well, I haven't noticed the answers, that has been really, really, really important to me. So I've been pushed and pulled and everything, like I say, great people around me. But what I've come to, and I, I today, this is this is the thing, I've come to a self-realization today. It was massive for me, but it was so simple. I just linked these dots, and I'll get to that soon. Ads Mac, how are you, superstar? Legend, man. I've got a crazy story to tell you in the next few days, bro. Bianca Spears, rocking it out from Bali, if you're still there. Amazing people on here now, and this is what it's all about. But for me, I had a great call with Alini Gray the other day. Please check her out. Amazing. And um, we touched on some stuff that I've been feeling, going through, dreams, whatever. But what came up actually surprised me. Tara Star, another Bali superstar. 
I'm jealous of you ladies. <laughs> We've got a few people over there. It's awesome. Um, but what came up surprised me. What I touched it on surprised me why it affected me. And Steve, how are you? It's enough of the shout outs now. I'll, I'll get to the message soon because it's really, really important. But what came up was really, really strange. For me, it was strange. And I'm like, how does this stuff affect me? On a deep level. This is deep shit, guys. And it was stuff around when I was a kid, but how I was treated, but how I took the treatment. Now, we hear about bullying and all this sort of stuff. Me, I'm a hard little fucker, seriously. And this is what I've been going on the last few weeks, but that has meant shit. But when I was a kid, if someone said something about me or I didn't like a situation or it could have been simple stuff that always come up was like, we used to play backyard cricket or cricket at school and that. I used to go out, I used to lose my shit. People used to just like, go me or whatever for there. So what What happened? I took it on board. But here's the key. Here's the key. And I'll get to why this is important right now in my life. Here's the key. I used to get so fucking hard on myself that I used to beat myself up for this. I used to, yeah, I used to be loud and that go back at people and yell and scream and have a sook up and all that sort of stuff. And I still look at it now like, you can take bullying, but as a kid, we're not taught how to take this stuff on. We're not taught how to protect ourselves. We're not taught how whatever people say it doesn't, it shouldn't affect you. We're not taught that. I believe it should be taught in school massively, but it won't because of the way the bullshit school system is. But I used to beat myself up. I'm going to tie this into why this is important the last few months. And to the point where I used to just go belt things. I used to slam my fist. I used to headbutt things. I used to punch myself in the face. A lot of stuff that no one's seen. But I didn't think much of it. I did not think much of it. That continued on for such a long time, but it was the other day when I spoke to Alini, I got to that, that came up. I, I don't know why that came up. This was the thing. I don't know why that specific stuff came up. The part about towards me, I knew it was there. I can remember this shit for years and years. I had a crazy little temper. I did, and if I didn't get my way, I used to lose my shit, but what I used to do that people didn't see was the worst thing of all. The worst thing of all, I used to beat myself up. I used to go so hard on myself. And that pattern continued for years. For years and years. The thing is, when I got older, I did take it out on other people. But internally, I beat myself up more. I'd go crazy on myself. And when when this came up the other day, I didn't realize why that was affecting me. I didn't, I didn't know. Why did this come up? And Alini told me to go and really, really go deep on this. Take myself back there for a lot. And... We're always told not to go back to our past, but if you've got emotion tied to stuff, especially when you're younger, you've got to go back there. It's great having someone to guide you there, but you can do this shit yourself. We can. I went back there and back there. And what I've come to the realization, just like the last few days, it's been progressive. I've been up and down like a yo-yo. Done everything too, guys. This is the thing. I've done everything that I normally do to get my energy up. And you can tell now I'm up and about because I'm fucking happy that I come to this realization today. But I went to the rainforest. I had some sleep ins. I, I went to bed early a few nights. I really tuned in what I was eating and my exercise. I went harder in the gym. I went easier in the gym. I took days off from the gym. I did all this stuff and I was all over the shop. I took advice from people around me. I'm like, all right, I've just got to work harder on my business. I've just got to put more time into my people. I've got to take more time away from them. Here I was, toing and froing. And. <laughs> it's it was such a, a simple thing that I can remember, but I didn't know why it tied in. I even went to the rainforest, had TT around me, which was brilliant for guidance from just a totally different ground and perspective. And it started to unlock all these things I was doing and the people out around me were starting to unlock that what I uncovered with that with that call with Alini, with the guidance from her, why it was affecting me so much. Why it was affecting me. Why couldn't I go hard on my work? Why was I sleeping in the middle of the day? Why did I lack motivation? Why did I not want to talk to people? Why did I just want to lock myself away? I haven't done this in a long time. Here I am flying after the massive changes last year. I left beast mode. I'm going to get to, a, to that in a minute because it's absolutely critical in all this. I haven't spoken about it yet. I really haven't. But I feel it's really important. You'll understand why. But it started to, to dawn on me. I'm like... I've been beating myself up the last couple of months again. I'm going back to my old ways. 
but my old, old ways. And I didn't realize, I'm massive on self-talk. I'm massive on it. With coaching or mentoring or anything, I'm the first to say, just look at your self-talk. But this stuff, because this was coming up now, I was going through this shit again. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not growing the business like I want to. I'm not talking to as many people as I want. I'm not showing up as much as I want. But it's back to my shit. How I took situations when I was a little kid. But I never, never turned it around. And you know what the key was? And like I'll mention Alini again, I really want you to check her out. I didn't love myself and appreciate myself. I was just doing my best. I got upset because I was just doing my best and I was just disappointed because I knew I was better. But instead of going back when I was a kid and saying, you can just do better, just do better, and say, well done, well done, giving yourself a pat on the back because I didn't have that around me because I'd lose my shit. Nothing to do with the people around me, but it was my own fault because I used to lose it straight away. So I didn't give them the opportunity to say, well done. But towards myself, because I didn't appreciate myself, because I didn't tell myself, well done, because I didn't understand that's what I had to do, it's no fault of anyone else. I just didn't get it. I locked onto that so deep that it became so ingrained in me, in my freaking nervous system for years and years that no matter how much work I'd done last year, it needed to be triggered. It was never triggered. This shit sometimes has got to be triggered. This stuff, this deep stuff that a lot of us will not talk about that we actually don't know affects us, it needs to be triggered. And it happened the other week. I, mean, I did a live feed. I was balling before that. I copped heaps of support in that. I really am, really am grateful. It upset a couple of people close to me, but that was not my intention. It really wasn't. But sometimes when stuff comes up, it involves people. It involves your environment. It involves people close to you who you don't want to hurt. But guess what, guys? Be fucking selfish when it comes to personal growth. Sometimes we can forget. It's all about you. It is. It's all about you. When you're a kid, it's not about anyone else. It's fucking about you. You're brand new in this, this world. You're fucking brand new, but you don't know. You've got to learn somehow. But the problem is most of us learn in the fucking schoolyard and we have to deal with it internally ourselves because we're brought up, especially here in Oz, if you're a young guy, you've got to be a tough little boy. You've got to be a tough man. Take it on the chin. Fucking bullshit. We're not told to look after ourselves or appreciate ourselves as a kid. Nothing to do with parents or anything like that. Because you know what? Most of us as a kid, we keep this shit inside. We have a fight at school. We don't want to tell our fucking parents. Something goes wrong. We don't want to tell them. No, I'm fine. But that shit held on. And, and this is the thing that's... This has come up for me in the last couple of weeks. Here I am, like 38, a grown man. Oh, fucking big tough boy crying. But no. When you, when you realize this and start appreciating yourself more, this is where change comes. And... This is where you create space because holding on to shit like that on a deep level, guess what? That burns you up. That eats you up. Then you've got no space to allow anything in. If you're, if you're striving like I've been doing, I've been pushing fucking hard, but nothing's been showing up lately and I started questioning me and what I was doing, all I was doing was holding on to shit. Like I say, I made some massive changes last year and I, I, didn't, I didn't see them coming. I didn't. I go back 18 months ago, so when I got into beast mode, amazing, seriously. That that one decision there is the one decision that changed my fucking life. And I will ever, forever speak of that is that one decision that changed my life forever. Totally, totally changed it. From there, decision, decision. I was fucking brilliantly led by Lee Bunny, brilliantly, and I will ever, forever be appreciative of him. Forever. That whole journey was unbelievable. Here I was, I didn't have a vision, but I started asking questions. Here, here I was, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't fucking talk about my soul or fucking emotions or deep shit. I never knew that I had to to move forward, but I was asking questions. That's why I got into beast mode. That's why I was brilliantly led through the retreat. Then I started having these visions of what I might have wanted to do. And I was caught up in the vision. I was working with fucking men changing their lives. I was so passionate about it. I still am. But I, I go back to the start. It's my own personal journey. And I started forgetting that. I started forgetting that it was, it was my personal journey why I got into it. 
because I started asking questions. People weren't asking me questions. The outside world wasn't asking me questions. I started asking it myself because I was not happy. But I started to forget that. I, w- I was so caught up in helping so many other people, which I fucking love. When it got to a point where I was so far in, I actually didn't want to go back. I'm like, no, 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 I've got to keep going. I've got to keep going. Retreat after retreat where I learned so much. I learned so freaking much. Not only about myself, but the people in that environment. Formed some brilliant friendships which are going to last forever. Met some amazing people that I don't talk to anymore. But as I went on this journey and had more self-realizations, I actually kept a lot of that to myself and it started to eat away at me. I didn't realize that that was going to be a problem because I didn't want to go off this path because I'd learned so much. I didn't want to go off it. I still wanted to help people. But the more people I spoke to that did not want to help themselves, the more that affected me because of my own shit that I hadn't worked on. I, I didn't realize this part. This is the thing. I didn't realize there's so many layers we've got people. So many layers. And um, TT's on there now and she's helped me so much with this just by being in her company talking about these layers. See, I've been one in the past and I still think about it. I'm not one for sympathy. I'm not for one for if someone's upset, I want them to cry it out. If someone has got something coming up, I want them to cry them out. I will not play into that. But sometimes for me... I wasn't doing that myself. I was locking my own stuff in. Because I still didn't trust deep down that that was right to come out, that that was affecting me. And it got to the end of last year and I got so far into personal development, I invested a lot of money. I'm still paying for that and it's the best money I've ever spent in my life. Seriously, ever. You don't need a coach, guys. You don't need that. You don't need a retreat in that. But for me, I fucking needed it. For me, I needed it. That's why I did it. And for so many of you on here, you need something like that. I'll forever talk that up. The retreats are next level. There is nothing on the fucking planet that will compare to him. Lee is a coach, as a mentor in what he's created. There's nothing that compare to him. He's so fucking unique, and it's what I needed at the time. That's my point at the time. It's what I needed. But until something drastic happened in my world... I was going to continue on a path. And what was the drastic thing that happened? I couldn't start to afford to do things. I put so much into personal growth and development. I couldn't afford to do these. My businesses were suffering. I couldn't put time into them. I couldn't put time. I was putting time into people that didn't want to change. But I wanted to help them. But you can't. You cannot help them all. And this is where it comes back to me. Then I'm like, fuck this. I've got to make some tough calls. Perceive tough calls. I've got to push. Don't get me wrong. But that's how I was coached. It worked for me. I was motivated in my own pain. I was motivated because I didn't didn't have all this. I was motivated. But then I started... That motivation was not there anymore. When I worked on all the stuff that I knew I needed to at the time, when that was like, fuck, this doesn't affect me. Anger, where's that gone? That personal shit, I don't take it personally. When that started happening, I knew that I needed to do something else. It just so happened to coincide. I couldn't go to the last retreat in December. I couldn't. I got offered to go, but that was keeping me safe in scarcity and security and fucking getting help off someone else. That doesn't help me move forward. It was so tough, seriously. That decision was so tough for me. I'm not going to take it back. I never will. And what's happened thereafter? Of course I'm not going to take it back. Because such a big part of me was on that. But it was my personal journey. I don't care if this comes back selfish. It's why I got into this. Because I needed to work on my shit. I had, I had a vision when I started. And like it was nothing like what evolved. Because this is personal growth is an evolution. Get that, people. There's not one thing. There's not two things. There's not three things. There's not one person. There's not one mentor. There's not two. There's not three. It could be fucking multiple because every person that comes into your life is there to teach you a lesson. I never knew that before. I never knew that. My, my one gold nugget, if you want to take one massive gold nugget from this, everybody, everybody has got a lesson to teach you, but this is what it is. Listening is the key. Listening. Listen to the person, if they're right or wrong. But more importantly, listen to your gut feel, your intuition. When you go on this personal growth like I have, I've fucking done a lot, your intuition starts to stand out. Don't second guess that shit. It's the stuff that's in there. With all that other shit, 
that you hold on to. You got your intuition. You got that deep voice, your soul screaming to say, "Fuck, dude, you got to do something different here." I started listening to that. Then I just make choices and decisions. People were upset, but here's the thing: if you don't follow your own gut, no matter who you've been guided from, if you've got a call and you go somewhere else, fucking follow that shit. Just do it. Be it right or wrong. Who cares? It's the way you see the world. It's your perspective on things. And when you get tested and tested and tested, test the challenges there to make you stronger. Go back to it. Who cares if you're right or wrong? If you fully believe you want to do that, fucking do it. That's a massive thing that I learned. And fuck, I've made some mistakes and I've fucking struggled. And I'm so appreciative of the people I've had around me all the way through. My family, holy fuck. Seriously. There's been weeks where I've had to like string together money and that to do things. And this is the fucking truth. I don't care about sharing this from you. Because I put out on building a team and a business and there's fucking superstars in there. They know all about it. But that's what I'm willing to do to chase what I want. That's what I'm willing to do for the people who come into my environment. Just to show that they can do it too. Something I'm passionate about is speaking your truth. It's what I do. It's what I do to my best ability. And this is, this is it. Working with young people, that they don't know what to say, they don't know what to do. Other people, older people, sharing their stories because they've never had a safe environment to do it. Wow, has that taught me a lot in the last couple of months. Doing shit for free for people. We do it a lot anyway, but holy crap. When people truly appreciate you and they listen to you and they shine. They seriously shine. They put that shit into full effect and holy crap. Getting messages today from a, a fucking cool dude from, um, from the West, Trent. Just reached out a while ago and I, I sensed that and I had a good chat with him today, like just through messages. And I sensed that when he reached out to me, I think I reached out to him prospecting him. Like, hey dude, blah, 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 what's this? And he started getting into the speaking your true stuff, the free stuff I just do. And I said to him, I said, you're not happy in your job. He goes, I love my job. I love it. Love life, all this sort of stuff. It was amazing today. This is all coming out of the time. All these things happen in the universe for a reason. If you're there to be aware of it, if you take notice of it, but... Yeah, Trent, he sent me a message today. He goes, after 20 years, I quit my job. I'm out. I'm chasing this journey. And I just went, boom. I'm like, now's my time to say, hey, I remember our first chat, man. Remember our first chat. It was a, a couple of months ago. It wasn't long ago. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I said, you didn't like your job. There's more. Because he went on this journey, because he had that self-realization, because he listened. He just took something in your hand with. That made me pretty happy. It's one thing you can do, guys. Listen to people around you. To all of them, right or wrong. All of them. Might be time consuming, but do you know what? It's not actually. They're there to teach you something. Everyone's there to teach you something. Especially if it's wrong or they feel shit. That's the lesson learned. Get the fuck out of there. But like I say, back to it. Then I transition to it. And I put a lot of stuff out there lately. Yes, I'm working for a VIP travel club. Yeah, I love that shit. And do you know why? Because... People in there had my best interest at heart. I started listening to them. I dropped my shit. And it's led to me meeting so many more people on a personal level, guys. Personal level. I had to work on my wealth, my finances. It wasn't happening there because I got distracted from my own choice, my own decisions. I let my own decisions lead me down a path that I, I should have stopped doing, but I didn't. My, my, my thing. Own it. It's what I did. And working with fucking amazing people like Michael Sloggett, Gary NG, Shane Anderson. Holy shit. Guys just out there just having fun, but personal growth for them is number one. The people in their environment, number one. If they're willing to own their shit, if they're willing to stand up and just be themselves. And they seen that in me and I, I was... That took that blew me away. At a time where I had to make decisions, and I just decided, decide, commit, decide, commit, right or wrong, who gives a fuck? Seriously. Just own that shit and keep moving forward. I didn't know I was going to go down this tangent. I'll get to the comments soon. I appreciate all this. I really do. Loving the lighting in here in my bedroom. I was going to do this outside, but it's all cool. But why? Why is all this important? I go back to it, last year was the biggest year of my life. 
by a mile. Never ever take that shit back. I learned so much from so many people. Had some amazing people around me. I absolutely recommend if you if you are stuck now or you need guidance or anything like that, seriously check out Team Beast Mode. Men and women, I'm serious about this. I'll always talk this up for the changes that it made in my life. Lee Bundy is the fucking man. I'll never take that back. Never ever. Just sometimes there's a time and place where you got to do your own thing. But sometimes you don't realize what it is. You don't know. Sometimes you've got to make mistakes. Well, a lot of the time you do. You've got to make wrong choices to fucking move you forward, believe it or not. Believe it or not, you've got to do that. You've got to upset people. You've got to. You've got to be upset yourself. And I talk about it, the layers and stuff like that. I had to I had to upset people around me. I had to take shit personally. Because until I'd done that, I didn't understand what I had to work on again. The deep shit. And it was simple shit, guys. The way I treated myself. Self-love. Self-respect. My self-talk. When I left Beast Mode, I fucking beat myself up about that. But guess what? It drove me for a month. It fucking drove me. It ate me up, but it drove me. I went hard as fuck. Then I started to do this shit. Because that, that motivation for yourself can only last so long, guys. It has, a, it has a point. You can be hard on yourself if you're a, a high achiever. But when it gets to the point where it did with me, it started to eat me up, but I didn't realize it. That's no good. So what happened? Ooh, ooh, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to go do that. Fuck, why isn't this person listening to me? Why isn't this person listening to me? Why doesn't this person want to show up? Guess what? If you're a leadership and you want people to lead or be led by you, if your energy's all over the show, they will sense that subconsciously. They might be feeling it like, well, wait a sec, you don't seem right. You're all over the shop. They won't say it. They just won't show up. It's happening to me. People in my team on here, you probably admit it. Open up and admit it to me. Don't be fucking afraid. I need to hear that shit. The best leaders are pushed by the people below them, believe it or not. But they're open to listening to them. Open to accept what they say, be it right or wrong. See, this is the thing, guys. Getting emails there. I'm actually pretty bloody happy today. I feel light. I'm being fucking trashed. I was laying down before. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And then I linked all this stuff in, guys. I linked all this in. Aha moment. Boom. Defining moment. I've already made decisions going forward for this year. I've got some big plans in place. But the way I was fucking going, fuck me. I'm going to spend the rest of the year in here. No fun there. But, what's my point to all this? Like I say, might have seen that, oh, maybe I've gone away from personal development. Because I've left Beast Mode, I've gone away from, oh, no, no, no. What I'm talking about now is this shit to the core. I've had some fucking great people around me. Just because I've made some changes doesn't mean I'm not absolutely passionate to the core with working with people, to talking to people. But ones that want to change their fucking life. Not the ones that just want to just pretend to listen, listen to respond. They don't want to change their life. And if I become pretty harsh with some people lately and they've found this, that's why. I'm just telling you how you're coming across. If you want to make change and someone reaches out to you and you're like, yeah, yes, 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 you're oh, no, no, no. Just shut up and listen. Someone's got what you want, shut up and listen. Just fucking do it. Just jump in. If someone says to you, Oh, what? And this is, this is, I'm going to use the exact example. Money. The travel company I'm with. It's just a fucking membership, guys. You want cheap travel? Come in. Do you know how many people that reach out on a personal level to me? It's fucking a lot. It's a lot. And I want to listen. But I'll say, this is what I'm doing now. But if you get on board, I'm helping you on a personal level too. Because guess what, guys? You don't get this in a lot of companies. But you do in network marketing if you're willing to do the work. The people above you want you to succeed. The people below you want you to succeed. People around you want you to succeed because it's a team game. Simple as that. But you get to come in and work on yourself personally. You get avenues to do this. So when you've got a simple thing and someone says to you, or you've got to invest just a 550 or 750, and you go and make up a million excuses, guess what, guys? Do you really want to change your life? Is 550 or 750 going to be the thing that turns you around? I only use that example because that has been like a recent history for me. You can go back to it. If I told you how much I invested in myself last year, which I'm still paying off, the people that I'm talking to now on them phone calls would fucking faint. 
but it's just it's the best investment I've ever made, and it's going to continue. Like I'm back on like massive back back on track now, moving forward. I'm going to get to this. Any questions? Show it up to me too, guys. Especially about what's next. I've got to hold back on something about what's next too. <laughs> Fuck. I appreciate this, guys. And as you can tell, I'm just in flow now. I have not been in flow for weeks. I've been fucking struggling because of this shit. Duh. Kimmy's on. How are you, Carly? Awesome, awesome. Loving the comments here. Loving the comments. Thank you. Appreciate it. A lot. A lot. Some of my team on here. Thank you guys for being on. You know what this is all about. Filling up my cup. That's what it's about. Tara. Uh, see, all you guys on here, I know you get it. And I know you's I know you have to deal with it yourself. But I know a lot of you are on a personal growth journey. And guess what, guys? Personal growth is forever. Seriously. If we're not growing, when we're dying. You hear it all the time. People put it up. They aren't doing shit about their life. Believe it or not. I love that about social media. I sent my team a challenge the other day. How's this? And I do this myself. Just a little bit off track. Absolutely, Amy. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Appreciate our chat the other day, man. I'm going to use Mark's example here, if you don't mind, dude. We've well, got no choice. I spoke to Mark early last year and had a lot of shit going on. But this is what happens. When someone really wants something, wants to change, he's reached back out of me. It's been months later. He's like, fuck this, I'm ready. Sometimes people aren't ready for this. Some people aren't ready to hear the truth. Sometimes people aren't ready to change. I found that a lot last year. And when you force this stuff on them, guess what? No good. But I appreciate you reaching back out, Mark. I really do. And everyone else on here too, a lot of you guys have come and gone and you're back and you're rocking it. It's what it's all about. But it's what do you do now? So many people in life are lacking. This is this is what I wanted to get to, like I was. It's a fucking big point for this. I was lacking. What was I lacking when I started personal growth? I was lacking like fucking confidence in myself. Self-respect. I had none. I was so not good at talking to people. All this stuff. I had. So what did I do? Personal growth, what's that? Well, you get to work on this shit that you're no good at on a personal level. You get to work on communication. You get to work on meeting girls and talking to girls. Fuck, that was huge for me. Now I'm just not going to go there. <laughs> but that was the stuff I had to work on. So I got into personal growth. So what happened at the end of last year? I had to really get back and work on finances and work on building a legacy for whoever I fucking have below me. Get to working back in my, a team on a personal level. To grow an income, not just for me, for them, for my friends, for people around me. So what did, what happened? My focus had to shift. When my focus shifted, all this other shit come up that I never knew I had to work on. Personal growth is forever, guys, and you get into it. More people have realized that life's not over when you're fucking just going paying bills and fucking round and round just supporting your family. Life's not over. Personal growth's not over. I go back to it. There's so many fucking layers, guys. But you've want to, got to want to do it. And there's not one. There's not two. Forever. The older you get, you fucking get old like me. There's fucking lots of layers. And you need to make these changes. You need to be put under pressure sometimes. You need to be triggered. So seriously, what are people lacking in life? Like, I was lacking certain things. So what did I do? I found the vehicle to do it. I found the right person at the right time. To put myself around. To be around. I kept doing that all last year. When I got to a point where I was missing something else and I realized, well, I, I didn't believe I was going to get it there because it didn't feel right with me on a deeper level. I'm going to look for something else. What happened? I created space. That ride vehicle turned up and the people are there. Yes, it's in a company. Yes, it's in a network marketing company. Yes, I have failed in this area before, but there are no failures, just lessons. And I took that straight on board. So I just shut up and listened. I got told to play dumb. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Chi Chi's getting in with the old man jokes. It's all right. I don't take that shit personally. <laughs> I might in another 20 years. Nah, I won't. But here's the thing. And now I've got a vehicle, guys. So many people. What are we lacking in life? Seriously. A lot of us. 
A lot of us want more time freedom. A lot of us want more money to create that time freedom. A lot of us just want to spend a lot more time with our family or give them the life they deserve. But guess what? A lot of us, when we are triggered, when we are in pain, we'll just work harder on what we're doing. We'll just keep ourselves safe in that and keep doing it and stress ourselves out first. Then the self-hate comes in. Then the, the self-loathing, all the low confidence, slow self-esteem, that comes in. Then we might get in pain. We might. A lot of us don't. A lot of us stay in pain. We don't call it pain. We just exist. We just, we just like Maddie McKee, that's timing for you. Lack passion. So I started losing these last couple of weeks because I had shit come up. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? What am I doing? My passion, my drive, my motivation, which I fucking got back in absolute spades. I started questioning, where's that gone? What have you done? Why are you like this? You're not good enough anymore. You've had your fucking moment in the this, in this fucking spotlight. You're done. That's the shit I was saying to myself. That's not motivation. That's fucking bullshit. But so many people in life, that's what, we, what happens. Serious. So key takeaways, guys, whatever you want to take from this, I just felt I had to get it out. It's pretty fucking simple, really, but this shit was eating me up. So many things you guys are sitting there with now, guess what? It's eating you up. It's holding you back. Be it relationships, be it environment, be it fucking work, whatever. If you don't know what to do, surround yourself with the people who have been down that path. You don't have to fucking employ a coach. I had to. It's the best thing ever. You don't have to go to a retreat. I had to. It's fucking the, the best thing ever. <laughs> it was fucking right at the time. Then I just needed a vehicle to go somewhere, guys. The people will always show up. They will. If you are just there to grow and be your best version of yourself, the people are there. I'm just fucking happy that I found a vehicle at that time that could earn me what I was lacking in life. Appreciate it, Steve. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's that's it. But so many people. What, what, I talk a lot lately at like little functions and all that, and talk all the time. Like, what are most people lacking in life? Like, I went back before. It's, it's time, freedom. Not just time. Fucking time's an illusion. But time, freedom. To spend with their family, their friends. Traveling being key. That's why I teamed up with a fucking amazing company. But they don't have enough fucking money to do any of this shit anyway. So many people have got fucking egos or their own fucking uneducated opinions when people talk about vehicles or fucking network marketing or different business opportunities and things like that. I'm going to keep pumping this shit out because right at the core of what I do is still personal development. Right at the core of my team is still personal development. I want people to su succeed. It just so happens that I found this, this vehicle, as simple as that. Great people on here too. Great people. You've all got different things that you're doing. See, the way I see it, Personal development is one team. Coaching, mentoring, network marketing, whatever you want to do, anything to do with personal growth. We're all on the one side, guys. you just got to find what resonates with you. You've just got to find what's right for you at that time. If you don't know, take a shot at it. If there's a feeling there that feels okay, just fucking do it. If someone is there like who's doing it and rocking it, fucking ask them. Join their team. Who gives a fuck? What are you going to miss out on? Existing? So many different levels to all this stuff, guys. As you can tell, I'm in flow. I absolutely appreciate. Trent, watch the recording of this, brother. I'll give you a shout-out because it ties in perfectly with what I've been talking about. I just want to say much love, gratitude, appreciation for everyone, everyone. Recently, the last year, fucking the year before, it's fucking been epic. This year coming up, I said I had an announcement to come. It's not happening right now. Thank you, Alini. Thank you for your guidance. Seriously, I just remembered shit. <laughs> it's as simple as that, guys. But what's coming up is going to be epic. You're going to hear about it in about a week or so time. It ties in with personal growth, personal development. It ties in with amazing people. Amazing people that show up. Amazing people that come back into my life. Because I keep doing the fucking do. No matter how fucking sporadic, scattered, lost, unenergetic, energetic, fucking all over the show, grounded, whatever you want to put on it, that I am, I'm still going to keep fucking pushing forward. And thank you, Eleni. I appreciate it. Massive mention in this one. Check her out. Everyone who's on here too, thank you. Massive shout outs. Watch this space. Get in contact with me. More importantly, I've spoken to a lot of you on here. Take a chance, guys. If it's something I'm doing, do it. 
Fucking inbox me now. Let's fucking do this. It's at the core of what you do. Decide, commit, decide, commit. Take a chance, take a risk. The fucking what you will get at the end of it is going to be gold compared to what you do if you don't do it. I think I got that right. Anyway, much love and appreciation. See you later.